Hi and welcome to CYC and I'm Mina Ibrahim here tonight at the festivities of the Christmas occasion held by Pope Crollus VI and Archdeacon Habib Gerges Church on this occasion of Carols on the Lawn. We're here to celebrate this festive season. Hi, what was your names? Bahamias. Jonathan. Nathan. Uh, you guys look like you just had a game of soccer. Is that true? No. 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 We were just, we were just playing. We were just playing. Yeah. Okay, so what are you guys doing here today? Uh, we're just enjoying the rides and the festivities for the birth of Christ. And what was the occasion for these festivities? Birth of Christ. Uh, it was about um, the Christmas and celebrating Christmas and such. So what do you aim to achieve from tonight's events? Oh, just uh, have fun. And um, yeah. Are you guys liking the new facilities here at the Church of uh, Pope Paul VI and Archdeacon Habib Gerges? I'm really enjoying it. Um, they should really add a soccer or rugby court here, something. Uh, yeah, it was, it's, it's amazing considering that the old place is just a hide hall. This is amazing how they can just furnish it and make it a church for everyone, for the whole congregation of Sydney. Yeah, it's just great. Thank you guys, enjoy your soccer game. Thank you. Thank Thank you. You. All right, we have with us Paul Cedric. So Paul, what brings you here tonight? Mate, I think it's a wonderful event. Uh, what better way to spend, you know, leading up to Christmas, a jumping castle, uh, food, ice cream, uh, family together. No greater event than, you know, getting everybody together and having a fun, spiritual, holy time. Do you live in the area? Yes, that's right. I've been here for about 20 uh, to 30 years now. And how, how, what do you think about this church? How has it been well perceived by the community, the local community? May I tell you the truth, at the beginning I was very uh, reluctant, but I think now over time people are starting to love it. Um, and I think it's a great, great initiative and I hope we could have more of these beautiful locations and churches uh, right near the beach. I feel like going and having a swim, the weather's not good for it, but uh, pretty excited about going surfing. Uh, maybe they could have surf lessons, part of the church activities. Thank you very much for your time. No worries. God bless. Welcome to CYC. So what brings you to today's events? Well, obviously it's uh, Christmas um, and wonderful to see a Christmas spirit. And that's something we have been lacking for a while. And it's just great to see such a mixture of people and yet everybody's so friendly. And it's a true Australian spirit. I have been here nearly all my life. I'm Russian born and um, Russian-Australian, I'm very proud of it, and we have multicultural friends, and um, I feel I'm Australian in a way because I've been here for so long, and it's lovely, it's really wonderful. I wish them all the success because it's very, it's not enough of so, this spirit. And do you live locally here? Yes, I live in President Avenue, Monterey. Kilometer from here, yes. walking distance. Yes. And how did you hear about this event? I actually read in the leader. The and local newspaper. Yeah, local newspaper. I we had don't a, normally get it, but I found it in the gutter, all wet and screwed up. And I saw it the front page and I say, wow, how wonderful, you know. Yeah, exactly. And uh, I wouldn't miss it for the world. And I hope to, in the future, to do contribute something to this church. Are you happy that they turned this place into a church? Oh, Fantastic. absolutely. Absolutely. What a, absolutely. What a wonderful spot. Uh, it would be wonderful it was donated for the church. But, you know, yeah. I'm very pleased here to, to be here. Thank you very much. Thank you for your time. Enjoy the festivities. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, Richard, and welcome to CYC. Hi, mean, a pleasure to be with you. So I just wanted to ask you, this property, it's amazing. How did you guys acquire it? How we acquired it is very simple. Pope Carlos and Sahabib get it sent it to us. Oh, okay. um, we were, as you're probably aware, we're building the church at Karingba, um, and that project's going to take another three or four years till the, the church or cathedral there is being built. 
So what we're do we needed in the interim, because we were at a hall just around the corner from here, where we were setting up and packing up every week, and it was starting to get a bit tedious to set up and pack up every week, because the hall was a community hall um, that was used during the week. So we were looking for a permanent premises, probably a warehouse, 500 square metres, something like that. Um, and we were in the process of negotiating on one that we had finalised negotiation on. Um, and then EHAB uh, saw this property and found it um, being advertised, um, the secretary of the church committee. And after finding the place, the price that they were asking was ex very high. It was something that the church uh, wouldn't be able to sustain. So we made a offer that was way off that track. Um, that offer it took a while and eventually was not accepted. Um, we prayed um, and we said we'd want to use it. We, the, the property's got a lot of purpose, as you can see today. Um, so we went back and we uh, negotiated and Pope Carolus put his hand in um, and we got it. So it's, it's amazing, it's amazing and everybody's loving it here. So what future plans do you have for this church? At Monterey here, we're using it um, for community services. So there's, as you can see behind me, two lawn bowls. Um, we're going to enclose one of them as two soccer fields, um, not only for the church to use, but other parishes can use, and also the wider community can use. Okay, thank you for your time, Absolute Richard. Absolute pleasure. Great to have you here. Merry Christmas. CYC. So what brings you here today? Oh, for the Christmas party and we are neighbors and we are very happy to enjoy with them. It's beautiful people here. Yeah, we are really happy with them. The young people are fantastic. The young people are fantastic. Very friendly people. Very beautiful friendly. people. Are you happy that they turned this place into a church? Yes, yes sure. sure. Yeah. Yeah. These people, yes. We, these people are very happy. Before we are like a, little, a little bit afraid with coming, with church, but now we are very happy with them, very friendly. Even you coming with the mass, Sunday. So you would visit again? Yeah, yeah of course, yeah, all the time, yeah. We are we Catholic, yeah. but we've, we've been here in the mass two or three times. Sure. We, come, we yes, enjoy, really, enjoy, we enjoy. Yeah. Okay. Beautiful right. people, yeah. Are you guys having fun today? Yeah, I am. What rides did you go on? I went on the jumping one and also it's like a um, like a little ball on water, and I also went on that like a couple of times. Really fun. 
Are you having a good time? I'm having a brilliant time. And my top favourite ride is that trampoline one. And my second is that one that I went with my sister. And it's the best, this is like the best time of year. If they have more events like this, would you come? Yeah. Thank you. Abuna, are you happy with the, this church? Yes, very, very, very happy. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm, I'm afraid and, uh, when I came to Bihor, when I come to Bihor, I'm afraid. And, uh, I don't know, uh, Father, you, uh, uh, yourself? Uh, I know only one, my first friend. Yeah. Uh, but together, uh, after I talk, talk about and uh, con con congregation, is uh, uh, everybody is uh, uh, very warm. Uh, and they welcome you. Ah uh, yes. Yeah. Uh, so we're very happy, happy. Uh, do, do you know? Oh, no, more than uh, happy. More than happy. happy. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I, I don't know. Pray for us, Father. Uh, thank, you. Well. Thank, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you very much. I just want to say this this premises is amazing and it's beautiful and I wanted to ask how did you acquire this premises? Uh, we were renting a place on Sunday to pray and we had to start on Friday sorry Saturday afternoon to put the altar the temporary altar and the icon stars and everything and the church collect that in the morning on uh, Sunday after the mass which is a big job like two hours to put it on and one hour to uh, collect again and we were tired of that. Besides, in the middle of the week, when we want to do any service, it's not available. It's only available on the weekend on Sunday. So we're looking for a place. We looked for a place and we found uh, a place in Karimba, a warehouse. It was like an old factory. We wanted to rent that. And we started negotiating with the owners. And the negotiation was going on for, for a long time. And then one of our, um, the secretary of the committee, the church committee, was passing by. And he found uh, the ad out there for lease. 
So he called him and he said, oh, you know, we are interested. Um, what is the price? How much per year? And he said 150. So, okay, sorry, we can't. Uh... And she said, well, what's your budget? He said 75,000. I said, okay, no, no, come, come. But he said, yeah, but this is not even just like half the price. He said, no, no, come, come and have a look. We have an opening on Friday. So three days later, we came to uh, inspect the place. And uh, we found a group from another church who was looking at the same place. They wanted to rent it. And we are a very small church. So we said, oh, we don't have a chance. And there was some uh, other community, other religion. We were also looking for this place. So we felt that we are too tiny for these two big uh, you know, bodies or uh, organizations who wanted the same place. But uh, at the same time, we uh, just proposed to the other church that will take part of the building, just part enough of it to uh, you know, put a permanent church. And we pay part of the rent. They said, okay, we'll look for that and we'll uh, answer you back. We got no answer from them. So when the day for application came, we applied with 70,000 only. And they were, then after that, we started negotiating with them to increase because they said there is some other body that have um, given a higher price than that, what you are giving now, like above 100,000. But they prefer to give it to you if you increase the price a little bit. So we started increasing a little bit until we reached a point that they accepted our offer. Although we did not pay um, the highest value for the rent, like there is somebody or some other organization that paid about 20,000 per year, more than that we were offered, but they gave it to us. And from day one, when we acquired this place, you could see that Pope Carlos was pushing us because whatever we needed, we'd have it in abundance. Uh, like the pews of the church, as we got the first approval, somebody said, oh, you like this pews? How about if you get them? He said, okay, how much they are? He said, oh, don't worry, don't worry. Then I found out that this pew is about uh, $200 only. To transport them from Wollongan, we paid $300. <laughs> yeah. So actually, this pews, each one of them, if you want to make it, it will cost you $100 at least. So the value of this pews would be, um, I don't know, maybe 5000 or something like that. We got it for 500 And everything else that we have here, Whenever we had a need for something, you found Pope Cruz is providing it. That's beautiful. That's amazing. How, how did the congregation react, and especially the youth, knowing that they have a new premises now? Well, actually, it is because of the youth that we have these premises. I have to say this. Because, um, okay, we were renting at the beginning. Our total rent during the whole year was about 40000 So when we were looking for another place to settle in, our budget was 40000 really. So when we go to a place for 40000 then the committee said, no, no, it's too small. It's about 250 square meters only. No, this is too small. We can't move. Because the hole that we're using was about 400 square meters. When we found the place that's 500 square meters, the price, the rent, the annual rent was 70,000. I said, no, no, this is too much. We can't pay 70,000. We can only pay 40,000. So it was like uh, uh, a catch 21. You know, you don't have enough money, but you want the big place. So I told the youth, if you want to move, if you really want a permanent place, you have to chip in. So each one of you pays what you can weekly. So they collected and I said, this is serious. Like if you write your name, no way out. So they collected the list. Somebody paid 100, some 50, some 30 per week. It depends if you were like just um, a uni student or working or, uh, you know, working, going to uh, uni. So the total that the youth collected was 350 per week. And uh, actually, when we came to this place, it went up to 400. So the youth of this church are paying $400 per week, you know, collected from all of them. And that's what raised our budget from 40,000 to 70,000. That's how we could get this place. And actually, there is another guy who, uh, God bless him, uh, said, if you get the permanent place, if you get this place, I'll pay 300 per week. So we have people chipping in weekly uh, for the rent of this place. Some people 200, some 100, and so on. That's very wonderful to hear. What future plans do you have for this church? Well, the future is in God's hands. Uh, our uh, earthly future plans is that we will move to Karimba in about two or three years when it is finished. But everybody that comes to this place, at the end, Abuna, this place is marvelous. Sell Karimba and stay here. And my reply would be, if Pope Cruz wants to stay here, he can, he can do it. He's capable of doing it, and I won't mind. I will not object. Fantastic. It is with great pleasure that I introduce
introduce our first act for tonight. The whole crew will kick the night off with one of our all-time favourites. Can you please welcome to the stage our very talented performers? <laughs> Just see. 